I want to come in from above. Action. I want to come in from above. I want to come in from that way. Hold up. Action. Action. Stop saying action. Stop being such a bitch. Action. Stop. <laughs> Can you just do your intro? I don't have an intro. What this. Dude. Sorry. This is a microscope and it's connected to a laptop. And when we put it on stuff, you can see it really, really close. So we just shot a video on Steffi's channel doing like face pores and sweat and mucus and body modifications. Mm -hmm. We didn't do mucus, did we? No, we did my throat. Body modifications and scarring and stuff. It's pretty gross. But we're gonna change it up on this channel and I've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of items. And we're gonna examine some nature stuff. Close Action. Stop. Leaf. I mean, this looks very really leafy. I don't know what I was expecting, really. Looks like a leaf to me. I've never seen such a leafy leaf in my life. Leafy leaf in my life. Alright, well, it doesn't look that interesting when I stop for 10 minutes. <laughs> but don't worry, we yeah. have more leaves. We have more leaves. <laughs> right, this try one's the pink. pink. Yeah, try the pink side. Wow, a pink leaf. <laughs> that kind of looks like your nose. It does a little bit. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Amazing. Leaves Don't it. worry, there's more. That looks exactly like skin does. Well, let me demonstrate. Mm -hmm. See? Not really. It's the exact same thing. See, there you go. That looks exactly the same. I'm sweaty, but... It looks the same. Do you not see it? Maybe your sister's. Maybe, maybe I'm a sister to the leaf. Amazing. Next we have a leaf. <laughs> I'm so glad this took an hour to set up. <laughs> Did I pick really boring things? Yeah. We should get some like dirt. You just look at yourself. You've covered it. That's a great leaf. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have a leaf. <laughs> A bit. Oh, that leaf hurts. This is an aggressive That looks leaf. different. That's like a cactus. <laughs> I don't like this leaf because it hurt me. Okay, next we have this giant acorn. Wow, incredible. It looks just like um, your freckles. <laughs> don't do that. You do have a knife. No, I don't. I've got a nail file. It's not a knife. Can I use it? Come on, do you have a watermelon in the same thing? Next item. Here we have a flower. Okay. It looks like hairy. Focusing on the inside bit. Duck down the hole. That was it looks like um an ear. Yeah, it does a little bit. It's got like earwax in it. Can we do an ear for comparison? In my ear. <laughs> Yo, actually it doesn't look like an ear. Your ears are gross. Wait, where's my ear? Me at home. Ew! Oh, that's gross. Oh. <laughs> this is a flower. We have a stick. <laughs> what are you saying like that? Is it a stick? Who? Is that? It's my leg. It's a greasy looking stick. Yeah, it's kind of suspicious. What's this stick been doing? Maybe it's a dinosaur bone. Dinosaurs didn't actually exist. Yes, they did. Nope. There's no, there's no 
history of a dinosaur. I was just telling you. So does that mean dinosaurs didn't exist? The land before time wasn't on a true story. The dragons existed. I think that's more exciting. Well, I think don't about believe it. In dragons. China, they saw like dragons. Why would they celebrate? They're ancient. Why would they celebrate them instead of dragon? I mean, dinosaurs. I celebrate dinosaurs. Because like, real. the whole myth of a meteor hitting Earth and resetting everything. That just exists to scare us all into thinking that it could happen. Which it never can. I don't think that happened. What do you think happened? And how did all the dinosaurs get wiped out? They died. They just all died? They just forgot how to have sex? Maybe they got caught. Across the entire Earth? <laughs> Yeah. Nah, dude. Dinosaurs never existed. Next. Dragons did. This is this is the whole reason I wanted to make this video. You and the video short is because of this little guy. This little guy. It's is a dead this cockroach. This my friend. My only friend. Oh, you see that? You see that? <gasps> Maggots. Little Maggie boys. Where did it go? Do you think it's lagging on the screen too? Probably right. We're gonna stop for a second. Technical difficulties, wait a minute. Oh, there's a little bug on the book. See, that's a bug. Bugs and bugs. Why do they have spiky legs? What mm. purpose? Mm. To keep the bugs away from the book. A cockroach can live for a week without its head. How come this one died? He's got a head. I can move for a week without my head. A one day old baby cockroach, which is the size of a speck of dust, can run almost as fast as his parents. Yeah, me too. I don't believe that. How does something be born as a speck of dust? <laughs> and start running? That's like, wouldn't a speck of dust get in his way and he wouldn't be able to run over it? Have you ever tried it? Being a speck of dust? Yeah. Or running? Both. Have you tried running? So, I call me fat. No. I'm done with it. I'm done. Done. And cut. Being alone now. Clara's gone. I just edited my Asia video from before, I think. My fourth vlog. And I've only been here for four weeks. So I'm doing like a vlog a week, which isn't too bad. I'd like to do more, but it's mostly just like roundup videos of what I did that week. I've had some really weird stomach problems this morning. I think it's because I'm overeating cereal, maybe. I don't know. I keep trying to understand myself, but no idea what's going on really. New day, new challenges. I'm uh, about to rent a scooter so I can get out of here. Last time I came out here I saw a massive snake go across the path. So I need to be aware that snakes exist and they're out here somewhere. They're quite quite rare. But I just need to be aware that they're like a thing. Found a little place to swim. Right here. So I just got down in the river. I came down here. There's a path up there. People pass by. And I was just down here, minding my own business, enjoying myself down there. And this girl came down to join me. She was about my age. And she just smiled at me, said, like, how's the temperature? Washed herself and then just sat on this rock and meditated for a while. 
and I thought I thought it was so cool I didn't have to do anything like I was just being myself and washing in a river and then someone my age was attracted to that and came all the way down here and joined me and sat with me and I just, I just think that's that's so cool like I always try so hard to attract the right people and I don't need to like just all I gotta do is be me and people will just be attracted to that like the right people and like I, I wasn't doing anything I just think it's really cool <laughs> all right it's the next day yesterday the scooter place was shut so I couldn't get a scooter today they should be open I'm gonna go back now and check um, but I realized that I left my bank card somewhere I think it's in an ATM because I tried like three or four different ATM to get my cash out and the last one had it I know where that is so I'm gonna go back there call them and be like hey I left my card in the machine hopefully otherwise it's falling out somewhere and I'm, I'm, I'm screwed so a little update I went to three different bike places and they were all sold out and then I went to a more obscure bike place which was just like someone someone's house and he had a bike but he's charging me twice as much I gave someone a ride from Germany she was cool and now I'm here not very far away from where I live just kind of exploring so this is my this has been my first chance to have a bike I, I didn't have one for the first month I found this little path and there's some people in the park over there it's very nice don't know where it leads it's like Two and two or three in the afternoon. It took me a long time to like figure everything out. Oh yeah, my bank card, the the ATM or the bank where I used it last night, they're refusing to give it back. They're saying because I put it in the machine, I didn't take it out myself. They have to destroy it for whatever reason. So instead of sitting there and arguing with them, I was like, okay, fine, I just accept defeat. Goodbye, bank card. Luckily, I have enough money on me for the bike and for food for the next couple of days, but my bank, they have a branch in Denpasar, which is about an hour away. What I'm going to have to do tomorrow is like just bike down there and hope that they can rescue me. I'm sure this happens to a lot of people all the time, so yeah, that's what i got to do. Whenever I come into, come into nature like this, you have to keep moving. If you stop, you get bitten by everything. For some reason they don't bite you when you move. That's what I'm doing. Just going for a little stroll. There's a bunch of kids back there that look kind of confused. I don't care what people think of me, but I do wonder, what do people think of me? <laughs> like, I guess I do look a bit different. I don't really dress that different. I dress pretty normal. But I think it's just the general look. That's what kind of throws people off. What confuses people. I would love to have something to flow down here with. It'd be so nice. That was loud. A bunch of the kids back there. I couldn't tell what they were saying. One of them asked me if I wanted to, wanted to soak on his cigarette. He was like 10 years old. And then the other one was like jumping, telling me to jump in the water. <laughs> All right, I was up until like four yesterday working on my video. Because of that, I woke up pretty late. It's now 12.46 and I want to go to a waterfall which is about two hours away. Probably going to take me longer than that to get there, but I've been trying to go there all month and I think today's the day. Alright, so this is my destination. It's about an hour 49 away, 61 kilometers. It's on the other side of the island. I've never been to the north of the island before, so yeah, I'm excited. Seriously, every stick you got to be careful of because it could be a lizard or a snake. The one snake that I did see was a, a nice white color. I found a true sanctuary here. Like these trees haven't been touched, thankfully. It's only a small patch of jungle, but these trees haven't been touched. Like these are really old. 
There needs to be more of this. You know, like they've got a beautiful temple. Monkeys are allowed to roam free. But even though I'm in the middle of it, I can still hear the road. Like there isn't enough. Like why has all this been destroyed? A lot of the countries I go to, this is just what happens. They just destroy everything. I never mean to make my vlogs negative in any way. I just like to kind of show you guys the reality of the world and not sugarcoat it. Reality is, there's only small areas like this left. Like they're destroying everything. So I took my bag off, left at reception because for some reason the monkeys are getting like aggressive behind me. I keep like eyeing them and they're, they're getting like, aggressive and like sneak up behind me. So I was worried they were just gonna rip my bag open and try and nick stuff. Like there's no food in it, but you know, you can steal my camera equipment. I don't really want that. So I was just sitting here trying to get some monkeys comfortable enough to come hang out with me. And then a mother came by just like shouting. And whenever that happens, it, it alerts like all the other monkeys, especially this big fella of like aggression or some sort of fights going down. It's kind of alerted everybody now, and now they're all gonna go. It can't be that serious though, because everyone's kind of like slowly coming out of the trees. But yeah, like a hundred monkeys just came to that, that one call by the mother. Super neat. What we could do is investigate though. But yeah, I don't know what the deal with this barbed wire is. Let's just keep the humans out of the forest. Which seems kind of dangerous for the monkeys, because they're all like climbing over it and stuff. What's going down then? It doesn't seem to be anything serious. I don't know. Oh yeah, I need to mention the cost of things when I'm doing stuff out here. The cost to get in here was 15,000 IDR, which is about a dollar, five cents ish, which is like nothing. And that cost goes towards paying all the guys who kind of supervise and make sure the monkeys aren't killing anybody. Cause there's, there isn't really any maintenance costs. There's nothing, they haven't built anything interesting in, in here. I know I'm supposed to be at a waterfall today. <laughs> I get distracted easily when I see neat stuff. I'm also not on the road that I'm meant to be on, but I can cut to the correct road. I'm not too worried. I mean, I don't mind riding back in the dark. Kind of accepted that fate anyway. But yeah, if I'm in a monkey forest, I mean, I can't leave without actually interacting with a monkey. So I'm gonna do that. I need to get my confidence up with monkeys because they're everywhere, you know, they're all over the world and some of them are easy to, to interact with than others. I shouldn't be afraid of them because they can see the fear. I just don't have anything to like tempt them with. Like I haven't got any food. I just have to kind of sit there and hope that one of them gets interested in my dreads. So I did it. Totally on accident. I was uh, just observing a little baby monkey. Got a little video from my Instagram story. And then uh, I wasn't filming, but this monkey just came up behind me and just climbed up on top of me. So I was like, all right, this is fun. And then um, one of the guys offered to take some pictures. The pictures are awful, but I'll throw some up here. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Well, I didn't have to do anything this time. It just kind of happened. Cool thing about monkeys is that you don't need to offer them food for them to hang out with you. Cause like, they're just living free lives, right? They don't have anything going on. They eat, they poop, they sleep, they fight. It's about it. So if you're a human and you aren't doing anything either, and you're in the same place together, then the interaction just kind of happens, because why, why wouldn't it? If you're approachable and you're not aggressive or scared or anything, then these monkeys will just come and say hi. Very pleasant. This is a very small monkey garden, like compared to the other one in Ubud. Uh, this is about maybe 45 minutes to an hour away from the one in Ubud. I didn't know this place existed. I just saw the forest and thought, I gotta come check this out. So I pulled over and now, I'm going back on my bike, and we've got about another hour.
well that was lovely. Now I'm kind of just thinking like, what do I do next? Like, what do I do next? The water was warm, by the way. There's another waterfall down there, but they're, they're gonna try and charge me for that one as well. It's so ridiculous. All they've done is plant concrete all over here. That does not justify charging people to come to a waterfall. I hate concrete. I wish they hadn't done this. <laughs> like, I get that concrete makes things a bit more accessible for like, you know, like regular people, people that don't leave their house very often, but it kind of ruins it. Anyway, why do I complain so much, dude? I, I'm having a great time. Today's been nice. Now I gotta drive two hours back home. I can't believe I found the wrong waterfall. I don't even know where the right waterfall was. The drive here was really nice. The sun was out. I would drive to the very north of the island and go for a swim in the ocean. The sun isn't out. The sun's gonna be gone in an hour. I think it's probably best that I just start driving back home now because I'm gonna get distracted by stuff. I already know it. It's really difficult to drive at night. Really difficult because you have to watch out for dogs humans, holes in the road, and all we see is lights. So my goal for today was to show you guys a like unmarked spot, a spot where people don't go. And I kind of failed on that one. I think what I need to do is leave really early in the morning, drive in a random direction, and then try and find something, which is what I, I would usually do. Because that way I find something that no one else knows about. And I'd rather be sharing that kind of stuff than stuff that has already already been shared on YouTube. Like there's plenty of travel vlogs that show all this basic stuff. And the basic stuff is still great, but I want to find stuff that doesn't cost any money. Quiet little spots that no one knows about. So while I'm still here in Indonesia, because I don't even know what I'm doing right now in my life, all I have to do is kind of survive till the end of the month and then I'll get paid and I'll have a bit more freedom then to do what I want. I don't really have a plan until then. I just want to make a bunch of videos. I wanted to do like a whole series where I just kind of go out in a random direction, find something and share it. So something cool, like a waterfall that no one goes to or like, I don't know, something cool. I think my highlight from today was meeting that guy with the snakes. The guy who had the snakes rescues them, rehabilitates them, and then re releases them into the wild. And he said that snakes should not be pets. They should always be in the wild. Those green snakes are beautiful. Finally made it back. Now I'm gonna edit for a little bit and uh, start again tomorrow. It's a super windy day. I'm down here at the beach because I haven't really spent much time in the ocean since I've been here. I washed my dreads yesterday, and now I'm about to go in the ocean. So I'm probably gonna have to wash them again. I wasn't planning on getting my hair wet, but then this massive wave just wiped me out. And now my hair's wet, and I lost my hair tie. It's kind of sad about. I'm at the beach again, didn't know what to do today. I was meant to meet up with this guy, this local, who was going to show me some of the abandoned areas. But he's not responding anymore. So, I ate some food, I got some cash out of my bank, without a bank card, and I also got a new sim. <sighs> the sun was out, it was a really beautiful day, but the sun's gone now. Which means it's time for me to leave. Because I got some editing to do before midnight. Oh, it's New Year's Eve by the way, so... Uh, I'm guessing something's going to be going down tonight. I don't know. I'll have a look around, see what I can find. I don't know what to do today. I had a nice, nice little swim. Now I don't know what to do. I should go back home and edit. But then I'm going to come out again at midnight. I don't share this very often, but I play Pokemon Go every day with this little thing. Today, this little thing caught me a shiny Cubone while I was driving, and I hatched a shiny Magby. Pretty stoked about both of those. I haven't had much shiny luck for the past few weeks, and then two in one day. Nuts. I've been thinking a lot this week about like what I want to do in life, kind of. So I've been thinking about what I want to do with like my life. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just done with traveling. Like I've had a lot of fun with it. I didn't want to treat this trip like a travel trip. Like I wanted to just come out here and live and work and try and feel slightly normal. But I'm kind of I'm kind of done with it. Like the few people that I traveled with this year didn't go too well. And uh, that just kind of happens. If you haven't if you haven't lived with a person for a long time before you travel with them, it usually goes bad. Because you don't know what it's like to live with that person. And just like traveling just stresses people out and it brings out like the worst of people sometimes. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'm just kind of over, over it all. I'm happy to be here, away from the cold of the UK. But I don't know where I'm going to go for the next, like, five months while winter's still happening. I'm happy to go back to the UK when it's warm. But I just don't want to have to go back anytime soon. But I also want to pursue something different. Like, travel vlogging is impossibly hard if you don't have sponsors. All the travel vloggers you see, they're sponsored by like tourist boards, travel companies, all sorts of stuff. That's how they fund it. I'm not going to get any of that because of the nature of my character and how controversial I am online. Brands don't like that kind of stuff. So being a travel vlogger, pursuing that, is, it's not going to work. And uh, I don't enjoy it that much on my own. Like I like to be able to film other people doing like other people doing stuff and like doing activities with other people. Other people. It just looks so lonely on my own. The main channel was meant to be a psychedelic channel, and I can't even pursue that right now because if I did psychedelics here, they'd kill me. Like it's the death penalty if you get caught with drugs. I can't even do that here. And right now, all I want to do is that. I want to continue pursuing my main channel. Something else I really want to do is become a Twitch streamer. Like, streaming a video game that I really enjoy, Fortnite. I really enjoy it. And I can't play it out here. And I know if I streamed it, I'd probably be a lot of fun to watch. Because gaming brings out like this really silly side of me. And I think it'd be just fun. Like, I don't enjoy streaming. Unless I'm playing a game, then I'd, I'd probably enjoy it. But I don't know, I haven't tried it. I would like to try it. Again, if I want to do that, I'm going to have to go somewhere that has fast internet. And cheap rent, because it's going to be difficult to begin with. So that's just kind of what I've been thinking about this week. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a long time, but that's what's on my mind right now. It's coming into a new year. I feel like my channel is not going to grow if I stay here on my own. But the rent here is really cheap, so I don't know what to do. And if you want to see a better video, click on Steffi's channel, which is linked on the screen, and then watch that one.